think that we can call 911 and they'll show up, and they do, and they do an amazing job, but there's only so much our emergency responders can do. They show up, they do what they can, but at some point, if somebody has died, their job is done and they need to get back into service. TIP volunteers are the angels that show up at the time of crisis. TIP volunteers are called by police and fire. They arrive within 20 minutes and they just walk a family through the worst day of their lives. I was called to sit out with a young, about 12 or 13 year old whose mother was murdered. He came home from school, got off the school bus, walked into his house and saw his mom on the floor dead. So they called me out to come and sit with him and provide that support. I've also been to hospitals. I've been to um, people's houses, to the scene of the crime, anywhere and everywhere that that person happens to be. The training academy will teach you everything you need to know. Many times people say, I would love to do that, but I'm just not sure that I would know what to do. So I would say, come out, go through the training. Most volunteers, including myself, will say that you get more out of it than you give. When you're about to leave and you're saying goodbye to them and they say, thank you for being here, it makes you feel rewarded leaving, having known that you might have not felt like you were a tremendous help, but you were. The Trauma Intervention Program of Western North Carolina is now recruiting volunteers. So if you think that you are the type of person that would like to help citizens in crisis, we would like to talk to you. You can get more information at www.tipofwnc.org or check out the information on the screen. We would love to talk with you.